Today's project is a floating wall that will be built behind the shower curtain. This way, the grandparents won't fall into the tub and also provides a handle for support. Please subscribe and give a thumbs up or down. Let's get started. So here's what we got. We took down the bar that holds the shower curtain up. Okay, so that's what it looks like beforehand. And now we're gonna start putting components together. So you need some bolts and screws. Uh, this is a bracket from the blue store, blue box store, six by six. That worked really good for me. And then, uh, so here's our brackets going up. It's two inches from the top of the shower stall and about 24, or excuse me, 27 inches um, from the wall to the edge, just like in this video. Um, that seemed to work good and my studs were right there. So adjust wherever you need to. So again, two inches up. Uh, that seemed to be pretty good for my measured on my boards. And, you know, you'll be able to adjust your boards. So I'm going to show you some measurements here coming up and just showing you some different pictures of the bracket. So, all right, now I'm going to get ready to show you some uh, pictures of the studs I, I worked, so, or that I cut. That way you kind of have an idea on the lengths. So the first one that's going to go across is going to be your top part that's going to bolt to the bracket. So and that's the length of that one, just to different shots for you. Put that up. I, did, I drilled the holes into the wood, put the bolts up there. Here's a different shot of it being up. So you kind of just, it doesn't have to be right against the wall either way, but if you do want that, that's fine too. So like I said, you don't have to use exact measurements that I did, but this is the measurements. I'm still going to show you what I did in case your time is limited. Okay. And this is going to be the piece that's going to go underneath that piece we just did. Um, so there's the length there. And that's going to go under it on the right side and that's going to lay flat and then screw up underneath and it's going to allow it so it doesn't bow here's the other left side of it <clears throat> and that goes up underneath and then i have another piece that's going to go in the middle there you go and it could just be rough you know eight eight inch okay these are your lengths these are the studs going down in my case i use three studs they're only they're all two by threes it's a little bit cheaper and they hold up the same support weight in this case. So those are going to drop down over the skirt and kind of have a, where I kind of made marks so you can see where I put my studs. Cause I want to be able to have access into the tub if I need to. So I'll show you that towards the, the end. Okay. So this is the bottom piece. It's going to go, uh, the skirt basically down on the other side of the tub. So you see those, those wood pieces there. That's going to actually kind of wrap around the tub so we don't actually scratch the tub and it gives us support. So if they lean into the wall, these studs here will push in and not go all the way in. And if they ended up pulling with the, you know, the grab bar, then they're not pulling it out because these, these are actually going to stop them from pulling the wall towards them. And we're just going to sandwich in basically uh, some foam so we keep it from scratching as I showed it here. So this is just a piece of foam I had from electronics. You can use anything, uh, shipping foam, something that actually is going to keep it protected from the wood, the, the tub part. So that way down the road, when you take it all apart, just put your shower curtain up and back to normal. You don't have to call a repair service to come in and fix your tub. So, so I'm just kind of showing you some foam that I had and that's wrapping around. And the reason why I'm bringing the studs in a little bit, cause see how the tub kind of curves You kind of, you know, you bring them in a little bit, that way it's, you have some room there. So here's kind of how it is. This is kind of a shot with the toilet, you know, for when they can stand up, kind of gives you an idea how it's set up. I'll keep moving in and out of that, that uh, toilet seat, just so you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like. So that's kind of over the top and it's kind of sandwiched in there. So it's kind of tight right there, but yet it's not, not uh, damaging the tub. There you go. And this will all be hidden as we go through. So we're throwing something up because if you're going to be doing this, it's probably because either grandparent fell in or a child fell in or something and you're not using this tub. So this isn't a tub you're going to be using in the case. So if this isn't a, you know, spare bathroom that you have, um, then that that's where this will work. If you have to get access to the tub and, sh and use it, you can't kind of use this method, but then I got a cut of a stud going across. That's just to kind of help support it. And that'll actually uh, help once we uh, get our plywood up there. 
So it's just important when you're doing this to kind of keep things separate. So the reason I got this plywood is a four by eight sheet. Um, this is the same, I think it's seven sixteenths, the same they use for uh, for roofing sheathing. And it was actually the same price to get the, the silver covered um, side. And at the same time, it's kind of a dual purpose because one, it's the same cost um, in, in this case. And two is if they do lean against it and slide down, they're not gonna get any slivers. It kind of keeps it safer for everybody in the process. So there's the one side I did over there. And then that's gonna be my access hole if I have to get in there. Like I said, you're not using this, you're not gonna be using this shower while this wall is up. Otherwise you're gonna damage every everything and it's not gonna be good. Using this as a purpose, like if your grandparents or somebody's coming over and you actually have to shower them in another room, um, then this will work. And you don't want, you know, you wanna keep things safe and, and keep them in house versus going to a care home or something like that you can kind of do little things that'll help them. And especially if you're going to be showering them in say your, your room bathroom, if you have that or in another bathroom, that's e that might be easier for them to step into or, or a shower with a shower seat, something like that. So this is, this means you're, when you're putting this wall up, you're going to be shutting off that bathroom and not using the shower. But if you need to get access in there, if there's a leak or got to get to the window or something like that, you want to at least kind of set it up that way, or at least that's how I did. So, so no, that's not water, that's just the wood. So it's just the wood pieces. So everything's supported. Just giving you kind of some different angles in case you had a question. So that's with my next piece up. And I just used the two inch screws, lifted it up. Uh, you see where it's down at the bottom. And like I said, that's all gonna be covered by the shower curtain. So, and here's the shower curtain I kind of showed you with those nails I put it basically at a 60 degree angle, 45 degree angle, whatever, just kind of, just some nails I had on hand. Um, put those up to disguise it. Um, the reason I, I didn't go all the way up to the top is I want that, that sun to come in, that light to come into the bathroom. One, because if your grandparent or something has dementia, you want everything to look as normal as possible so it doesn't throw them off and, and cause them stress. So if you can kind of keep it, keep it uh, looking as normal as possible, but give them that behind the scenes structure to keep them safe, then that's kind of what we're trying to do here or whatever it is for your means to get you taken care of. Especially as we try and have to, you know, the cost of healthcare is going up so much and it's ridiculous. Um, sometimes we have to bring people into our home, uh, family members into our home, one to give them the best care because family's usually going to give the best care to their loved ones. And two, it's just kind of, you know, keep them safe. So you see, I had that and I have the curtain on there. I have the grab bar. I, I just replaced the, the towel bar with the grab bar that's longer. So, so see, as you walk in, you kind of see this it looks like a normal shower curtain, except you just can't step into the tub, but yet there's light coming through. So psychologically thinking for a grandparent with dementia or someone with dementia, is, there's nothing to see there. It's, you just kind of move on. But yet you would know that you have the support behind there that keeps them safe. So enough other things to worry about. Let's, let's take care of some of these other things that we have to worry about. So there's there's just how it would look without the grab bar. Now we're gonna get ready to do the grab bar and kind of line it up. There's just a different view of it for you. And you see the shower curtain actually goes down, covers all that up. So here I kind of sat down on the toilet, kind of reached my hand up to kind of see what would work the best. It's almost at like a 20 degree, 30 degree, somewhere to, you know, 22 to 45 degree angle. Um, seemed to work best. Um, so just kind of played around with that. And then uh, what I did is just put the screws right through that came with uh, the handle or the bar, the grab bar, the screws that came with that. And I just put it up there and basically made uh, screwed right through that shower curtain. So. That way, one, the shower curtain not gonna fall off if they try to reach up and pull anything. Um, two, it just kind of secures it so it's not fluttering around and getting in the way of when they're trying to grab the handle. So this seemed to work really good um, in this case. Um, you know, that way they can kind of stand right off the toilet, grab that bar, and then go to the other towel bar. You know. So here it is, the final picture. Um, so if you like this kind of video, if this kind of gives you some ideas on what to do for you know, grandparents or or uh, disabled kids or anything like that that you're trying to come up with ideas. Hopefully this kind of gives you uh, another idea or another tip. So please uh, watch, subscribe, um, leave me a comment down below.
and let me know what you think if you like it don't like it um, thanks for watching